Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making aniseed cookies, one of my favourites again. Um, into a bowl I've placed two mugs of flour, so just an average flat, um, mug, and I've placed two cups of flour into it. Into which I'm going to be adding one packet of baking powder, so either a packet or a teaspoon of baking powder. Just put into which I'm going to add one uh, cup of sugar, which is that goes in it. Then I've got anise seeds. They're very fragrant, um, so if you don't like anise seeds, you can put something else. But this is quite um, traditional. This is how these cookies come. So about two tablespoons of um, anise seeds go in there half a cup of um, sunflower oil so vegetable oil and also one um, cup of milk and then you just want to mix all these up together first of all mix it with um, with a spoon and then get your hands in it and mix it with your hands. Like I said, if you are um, a follower with me, if you have subscribed to my channel, you'll know that I'm not an exact measurement person. I've never been, unfortunately. As a child, if I ate something and I liked, I just used to go and figure out what was in it and try and make it myself. Um, so, and even if um, I did, if I mean, you know, years ago, there wasn't so much of, especially no internet and, um, all right, you'd find cookery books, but, it, you know, you never had um, access to Google, you know, Mr. Google, how do you work this out, sort of thing. And if I did find a measurement in a magazine or whatever, if I saw an ingredient, I would just look and see what ingredients there was in it, but I never used to take note of how much um, the quantity of it was. So, unfortunately, that's how I've always cooked, and I've been cooking from the age of 10. I love it. I love actually cooking, making things. So this is the texture that you want. You want it all nice, come together. Get some flour onto our work surface. Turn it onto our work surface like so. Just mix it. Uh, knead it with your hands and then what you want to do is get a rolling pin and just flatten it all out so just get a rolling pin and roll it out Like I said, if you don't like anise seeds, perhaps you'd like to put some other flavourings into it. What I'm trying to do is get a, like a square shape. You get your shape like so. Then what we want to do is cut them along making strips. And all I want to do is Divide it so how many? I'll do. You want to do like a an inch or so apart. And then once you cut them into strips like so, you 
then all you want to do is cut them diagonally like so so we want shapes like this not too thick but not too thin so about a centimeter into them sort of like um, diamond shapes and then you just place these on to your baking tray either grease it or put a grease proof paper or one of those baking sheets you can get and then just cut them diagonally like so so I'm going to continue doing this okay once you cut out all your pastry I mean if there's any misshaped ones you can always roll them out again and shape them you can use this uh, cookie cutter and make your own shapes if you want but I've got them on the tray like this now and it's now going into a preheated oven low heat 170 to start and until they're cooked in a preheated oven at 170 degrees uh, for about 20 minutes and um, they're done you can take them out earlier like more like a pinky color and they'll be softer but this way they're crunchy so they're, they're, they're lovely like this um, love it with a cup of tea and just crunch away on these but you could make these with a bit of um, nuts inside instead of aniseeds if you don't like aniseeds but I tell you aniseeds are so good for you so relaxing, so good for digestive system. I've been making um, anise seeds and tea at night, and it helps you go to sleep. We used to give that to our babies, our t um, toddlers, when they had uh, stomach pains and what have you. So I would um, just boil up just anise seed and give it to them like that, just water. So if you leave them pinkish, they are softer, they will get hard and up done. So this is how they come out. I've got another tray in the oven. So here's my um, second tray. They've all come out lovely. This is the, the circle one that I had. I just left it a circle. By all means, you can use any um, cookie cutters and make your own shapes if you like. Um, if you don't like any seeds, you can make these with um, putting orange juice and instead of milk, just put orange juice and orange zest or lemon ones. Um, they're not that sweet and they're crunchy, lovely bite size. You can make them nutty. You can instead of anise's, like I said, you can put um, some walnuts or almonds or whatever flavor you like. So be creative. Wow, aniseed cookies, absolutely lovely. thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel for more videos I'll take one from the bottom as they dry up they'll get more um, crispy but that's how they are they taste absolutely delicious I hope you give it a go until next time Bye for now. Bye.